It, it is now. Tony Goldmark, welcome and, to And you my... are, for our viewing audience? <laughs> I am, uh, I'm the great Luke Ski. No, he's not. It's a pleasure to be here. Yeah, I think he's dying. <laughs> he's not telling the truth, Zorak. I think this is actually um, a Moltar in disguise, personally. <laughs> Possibly. <laughs> All right. Luke, are you Chad? I'm Kevin of the Sponge Awareness Foundation. Oh, oh sorry. We've sponge met. Awareness. Yeah, I'm sorry. You know, I, I am. I, I, should we be aware of Sponge? Ah, should I, we be aware of the power of Sponge? That's what we're here to take care of. It's the responsibility of everyone. Excellent. Bill. I'd be here. There the hell is Bill? <laughs> With Grant Bacosho of throwing toasters. Bachoco. Oh, Bachoco. But it's okay. No one gets it right. All right. You can edit that part out. Oh, all right. Uh, Grant, so you're going to be performing pretty soon. Uh, are you um, are you nervous about it at all? I'm not nervous of, about performing. No, I'm nervous uh, that my pants will fall down. But that is something completely different. That could happen any time. I'm now, constantly nervous about that. That could happen at any moment. All right. Uh, uh, what do you think is your is going to be your favorite part of this convention? Um, It'll be good seeing uh, Chris from Power Salad and mm -hmm. uh, Rob Paravonia and Larry again. Excellent. But uh, it will also be good seeing the new people because, like, I haven't seen the Sponge Awareness Foundation. Yeah, so I've, I, that. I've never seen Luke Tom again. Smith either. Yeah, neither have I. Neither have I. So. All right. But to see see all my old friends, but then see new ones. All right, Grandpa Choco. And Tony Goldmark as well. Grandpa Choco, ladies and gentlemen, let's give him a big hand. All right. Woof. Woof, woof, woof. Woof. Woof, I say. Woof. All right, let's journey backstage to see some of the madness that's going on back there. Ah. Uh, okay, there doesn't appear to be much madness at the moment, uh, but pretty soon, hopefully, there will be. Well. <sighs> oh, look, there's Luke. Hi, Luke. Say hi. I'll say hi, and I'll let you know that you can get the rare Psycho Ooh. Potpourri Fanboys original release on original cassette, still in its shrink wrapping, limited edition of 100. This is number 83. There are six copies left in existence, and you can get it here at a price that I'll figure out once I figure out how much people are willing to pay for something like this. Excellent. Originally, well, I, they were don't, only... Don't they have alternate mixes? Uh, of, of some of them? Slightly, yes. Uh, and uh, this was originally sold for $8, but I think the market values brought it up to, I'd say, 10. 10. Yeah, I, that's what okay. I was thinking. So. All right, well, cool. I mean I, I mean, I might have to budget myself, you realize, because, yes. you know, I mean, when you consider that I basically already have it on CD, it's kind of... But anyway, oh, yeah. anyway, Luke, we're having the special in-depth interview right. right now. Luke, you're performing eventually. Yes. Uh, are you nervous? <laughs> yeah. oh. Gallagher is here and he's dressed as a fire extinguisher. It's very hard to swing a big hammer when you're a fire extinguisher. But here's Bill. Hey! Bill, are you nervous? No, I'm stressed. I have to be in five places at once. Oh, I was supposed to be in my room helping you. Oh, dear. <laughs> Luke, what are you most looking forward to? I'm looking forward to the wedding being over so Steph will stop being on my butt all, no. all the time about get, planning the wedding. No, I mean in this convention. You know Jeff? At the convention. There's a convention? Yeah, it's, it's all around there, you see? Oh, well, I'd say you need to ask Fred what she thinks. Oh, okay. Fred! Fred, are you nervous? We have played. Right. Here, but That's Dan Hart and Jeff Morris. Two geniuses at work. <laughs> Indeed. <laughs> are you guys are you guys at all nervous as uh, are you guys let me start over. What? Are you guys nervous, you nervous about your performance? Yeah. About what? About the performance. Nervous? What performance? I'm supposed to perform? Yeah. I'm not performing as that. Yeah, yeah. Didn't you read the fine print? <laughs> Oh, no. I'm just uh, just proud that I need to get things ready. Yeah, yeah. Jeff is, Jeff is seriously so. stressed out. I'm, <laughs> I'm relaxed because he does all the work. Yeah. I'm just. You just do the oh, stuff. Wow. You got all of them. I'm so, speaking with Kevin Eldridge now of the Sponge Awareness Foundation. Kevin. Hey. Some words for our viewing audience. 
well, I just want to say, we're setting up our complimentary candy dish right now, which we're hoping will detract Ooh. everyone from the rest of the room and grow in here, like, <laughs> moths to a flame. And since we're from Massachusetts, we're representing, as the kids say, Massachusetts here. These are Necco wafers. They taste like old chalk, but we proudly manufacture them wow. in Cambridge, Massachusetts, so You're we had to bring them along. They taste terrible, but we needed them here at Dementia. You're keeping it real. Absolutely. <laughs> You're from the... Oh, yeah, from yeah. from the Boston, <laughs> there you go. came straight out of Cambridge, right here. <laughs> Grant again. There he goes. And there's uh, what's your name? Ed. Ed from the Sponge Awareness. from the Sponge Awareness Foundation. Yes. Ed, we spoke to your partner Kevin earlier. I'm so sorry to hear that. Okay, we spoke to your partner Kevin earlier. Do you have any words to say about performing here at Dementia 2001? Please leave me and my pushpins alone. Okay, uh, moving right along here. Oh, oh, one more question. Are you nervous about your performance? I said to leave my. All right, all right, all right. To the gophers first. <laughs> okay. I realize that by doing this next thing, I am quite possibly endangering the dignity of this entire event. And. I've been told some weird stories about the next guy we're going to talk to, so let us just hope for the best. We're speaking with Davros. Not especially. No? ta -da! I am here. I am now. I am almost all together. Cuckoo okay. kachoo. Indeed. And this is Bill. Blasted Bill. Boom. The man of the moment. This, for is, for a job. Bill. this is my singing partner. Well, how do you say? I lost job? my voice about three years ago. <laughs> <laughs> you know, there, what he thinks is singing. See what what he thinks here? is me singing. Indeed. There's actually a whole bunch of strange voices up here all throwing their... Debra's, I've heard some crazy stories about you. Are they true? Their voices. All of them are all true. All true? Indeed. There's nothing all true. altruistic about me? Altruistic. Okay. No, nothing this altruistic. One. It's yeah. all totally oh, yeah. mad! <laughs> mad! Do you hear me? <laughs> mad! <laughs> this is, this is the great Tony Goldmark. Mr. Goldmark, good to meet you. Your Mr. Guest Mr. Devros, good to meet you. Good to meet you, sir. My camera's bigger than Harry's. I told him I like you. <laughs> all right, all right. We'll have to see about that. Well, um, as much as I, I love to have fun with old. you, I have to do stuff. Um, but you need help. I'm not that easy. You need I'm not that kind of boy. You need help getting the lights out? Uh, I'm parked in the front of the hotel. Park over here. Find me. Where, where, okay. Show me where this is. And there they go, off into the wild blue pool. Parking. And here's Chris Mezzalesta <laughs> of such Chris Mezzalesta of such songs as the Donza Bog Band, uh, Zot Theater, Cody and most recently scene. Cody, I'm on, I'm on the left. Oh, yeah. and and most recently Power Salad. Of yeah. Course. So Chris, you got a performance uh, this weekend on Sunday. Right are before you, you. Right, right before me. And uh, do you, are you nervous? I've got a snapshot camera. Oh. You know, Luke did that same thing. Oh. I wasn't I, here. Okay, well, uh, what are you most looking forward to? Um, I'm telling you things that are happening. You guys, those guys, him guys, and just getting totally and unequivocally be demented. No! <laughs> I'm gonna do a sneak attack on Larry Weaver right now. Uh, Larry Weaver? We're, we're here with Larry Weaver. Pleasure, Tony. But Larry, are you are you in any way nervous about your performance today? Uh, nervous. Um, well, uh, there's some great acts here, and uh, are you playing tonight, Tony? Uh, no, I'm playing Sunday. Oh, it takes a big load off my. As long as I have to follow you, then I'm uh, a lot Luke more has to follow me, and I think he can handle it. Uh, I don't know, dude. <laughs> so I just has this. That's good news. Yeah. So, um, what are you most looking forward to? Uh, performing and uh, playing some new songs that have never been heard before Ooh. and harassing whoever, however long my microphone cord will reach, that's who's going to get harassed tonight. Excellent. <laughs> All right, have a great show, Thank man. Thank you. Wait, I thought we were real.
ladies and gentlemen, let us see glorious, also hum Zarathustra. Yeah, ladies and gentlemen, we officially opened Dementia 2001. <laughs> Thank you for showing up. Yeah. Thank you, Calendar, for finally making it here. <laughs>